Welcome to Programmer Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about how to use the keypad Voice 4 on Arduino and how to use it. First of all, we have to code the keypad Voice 4 by hand and then we will use library for easy. Okay, let's go. This is the pinout diagram of keypad Voice 4 and as you see on the left, that's is the circuit inside the keypad and on the right is the keypad I will use in this video uh, the keypad has 8 pins from the left to right first 4 pins are rows and the rest pins are column ok the circuit inside the keypad each pin is a button one pin a button is connect to rows and the other pin is connect to column on a button in a rows are connected together with the pin left and with the pin right are connected together in a column okay as you see okay next is how we initialize the keypad first of all we will set output to rows and set input to column okay and with row we will set low voltage output it means we will uh, make an output on rows the out, output low voltage and with the column we will set input pull up this is the internal resistor if you don't know what is it you can uh, watch the previous video okay and when we set the input pull up it means the column has default state that is high okay it's all the way high and all the way way to receive the signal from the peripheral device okay and after we initialize this is the keypad status as you see all the rows are low voltage and all the column are high voltage okay next we will know how to check the press I assume I will press the key 8 okay I will press the key 8 and after I press the key 8 the C2 will receive low signal from R3, okay? R3 will transfer the low voltage to the C2 because I press the button key A and because I press the key A on the row C2 so we just check the row C2, okay? First of all, we will set the R1 to high voltage this means we will change from low voltage to high voltage, okay? And then we will check whether the C2 state is changed. This means we will check this column. If it changes from low to high, we will know the key in this column is spread. Okay, if not, check to the next row, next row, next row. If it changed, we will print to the serial monitor for user no. Okay, and then we will set own rows to low again to check the other. Check here, we will have to check the next row okay next we will set R2 to high voltage and then check whether C2 state that it changed okay but it doesn't change so check the next row okay check the next row and in the next row the row 3 set high voltage and then check whether the C2 state that it changed at this time we see because I press the key 8 and the key 8 on the row 3 so uh, when I set the 3 2 to high voltage, the column 2 will receive the high signal. So if chain bring to zero, now I will bring the key A to serial monitor and then set own rows to low again. In this step, we have to print and then done. But if I press the key on the last row, we have to check it. Okay, this is a diagram of keypad and Arduino. Uh, on the left is the rows and on the right is the column. I will connect row to the 4, 5, 6, 7. And I will connect the column to the 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Okay, now I will call first. Uh, default, we have two default function that's a setup and the second a loop okay okay in setup as I said we have to set
set on rows is output low voltage so my row is from 4 to 7 so this is from 4 to less than 8 C++ ok this we have pin mod if output and then digital write low voltage to E pins to low ok and then to the column this means set on rows output low voltage with the column we have to set it to input pull up so we have 4 from in E is 8 to 12 because we from A 9 and 11 uh, in mode E input pull up okay this is set on row column is input with high status okay okay that's it in each line the keypad so now we will check the rest button on the column 2 I have some red key 8 so I will check this column give you the algorithm like the slide first set R1 to high and then check C2 okay but first of all I will I will determine the column I want to check that is the column 2 right because the key 8 the key 8 on the column 2 and the column 2 is connected to pin 9 okay if digital digital red 9 E Zero. That means when I press the button in the column 2, okay, the column 2 will be pulled to low. Okay, now we will set the raw R1 to high. Digital right. R1, R1 right here is pin number 4. High. And then we will check the C2. If digital read 9 E. Zero. We will bring out to the serial monitor. Okay. Serial dot print. Print the first key E two because this is the first situation. Okay. And if the user don't press the key two, we will check the next else. Right here, we will set to the R two to high and check C two again. Okay. Right here, I will digital right 5. The R2 is in 5. And next, check digital read 9 is 0. Okay. If it changed, I will bring to the serial monitor key 5. If not, check again. Else, right here, we set R3 to high and then exit to again okay digital right my r3 is pin 6 and next check the column 2 0 dot print okay right here I will print 8 okay we can stop at this step but if I press the key 0 okay I will lost it now I will check on the rows to know which keypad is read on a column, okay? So I will check. I also check the key 0, digital right, 7 is the last row, I. And if digital read, I, key 0, 0 dot print, 0. Okay, 0 is the last key on the row 2 and else don't do anything because the key 0 is the last key okay I forgot here okay and then we have to set on the row to low again for check the next key for in I bang or E less than A E plus plus and then digital right E to low again 
Okay. Uh, sorry, this we will check it chain chain from low to high because so I will chain it to high. Sorry, high. This is high. This is high. Okay. Okay. Now I will connect my circuit. I have already connected some wires to my keypad, so now I will connect to my Arduino. Okay. First, I will connect. Rows to pin 4, row 2 to pin 5, row 3 to pin 6, and the last row to pin 7. Okay, and next to the first column to pin A, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, okay, here. Now we connect my Arduino to laptop. Okay, right here. Okay. Now I will upload my code to the Arduino. Let's check what happened. Okay. You know. And from um, 17. Okay, let's upload. And check the serial monitor. Oh. Sorry. Okay, let's check. Okay, now I will try to press two. Oh, nothing happened. Okay, let's check again. Ah, sorry, I forgot to zero dot print. In nine six zero zero. Okay. Again. Okay. Now I will press two. As you see, the two, the key two is bring to the serial monitor. I will press five, press eight, and press zero. Okay, but you see, it's bring too fast, so I can determine which key is bring, which key is press. So I will put a delay right here. Five zero 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 zero. Okay, now let's check. It will check the rest key slower. Okay, now press 2. Press 5. Press 8. Press and hold a little bit. Okay, 0. 2, 2, 2, 5, 5, 5, 8, 8, 8, 0. Zero. Okay. This is how we use the keypad from algorithm. So now I will use the library to use easily. Okay, first of all you have to move to sketch, include library, manage library, okay? And then you have to type here is keypad and you need to find the keypad by Mark Stanley. Okay, uh, the version you can download any version you want, then installed. Okay, after install, you have the library of keypad on Arduino IDE. Okay, now we'll open the sample of keypad from library. Okay, you move to files, sample, find the keypad, here keypad and custom keypad this is the project custom keypad okay first right here you see you have to change a little bit about key on your keypad with our keypad we have one two three four oh sorry eight this is four five six b seven eight 
9 and this is C, this is D, this is 0, 0, this is star. Okay, after that you have to change the rows and the column. This is 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is A, 9. You have to change it. 10 and 11. Okay, everything is done. Now I will upload to my Arduino. Open the serial monitor. Now I will try to press. Two. Okay. Five. Eight. Zero. One. Four. Seven. Star. Three. Eight. Six. B. Nine. C. Okay. You can see it. All of the keys it brings to the serial monitor. Okay, this is the way you use the library to use keypad for easily. Okay. Besides that, you can use the code of yourself to easy handle. Okay. There are two ways to use this. And there are many projects right here of keypad. You can check it to see what happened with your keypad. Okay, thank you for watching this video.